Hey everybody, this is Dr. William Clark here for Leadership Conversations. This is the show where we talk about leadership according to the world that matters to you. I wanted to come on for a few minutes to talk about how to learn from the past. Every leader has a past. Every leader has experiences that drives um, their leadership in the present. And our experiences in the past kind of define who we are. Now, it doesn't have to define the totality of who you are. However, what I am trying to say when I when I say that our past defines is our past gives us uh, the kind of the character that we have now. Uh, the good and the bad has shaped the person that we are now and has shaped our leadership choices, decisions, and styles. Uh, our mistakes does not define us, right? Our mistakes are a part of our past, but it does not define who we are as a person but what it says is that at one point in time I thought like this I behaved like this and I made decisions like this and when I realized that this was not healthy for me or my team or my company then I made adjustments along the way to become a better version of myself so when I found success when I found peace when I found calmness and I centered myself and I made sound decisions that have impacted uh, the bottom line that has positively impacted my customers impact the culture and morale of my organization, then I've learned that this is the person I need to become and I solidified that character within me. And every mistake I've made along the way has told me not to become what that mistake is. So therefore I make adjustments to become a better person. And so those experiences define you. It shapes you into who you are now as a leader. And so I wanted to talk about how to learn from the past. So the first thing I'll, I'll uh, share with you, there are three things here, is to do an assessment of what happened. Whatever uh, activity you want to focus your attention on, whatever experience you want to focus your attention on, do an assessment of what happened. What happened? Who did it? Why? What was the circumstances, the context? Um, the reason I suggest that is because while it's easy to say the past doesn't matter, uh, I would encourage you to rethink that philosophy. Uh, the past does matter. History does define why and how we got to where we are now. Whether you're looking at American history, world history, history of your own country, wherever you're working or living, rather, the history of your own uh, career, profession, and your leadership, it defines how we got here. And the how gives context as to, okay, this is why this culture exists. This is why I behave this way. This is why I'm sensitive in this way. And perhaps I need to make adjustments so that I don't re I don't repeat history. So an assessment of the past uh, helps you understand that. And it helps you figure out how to do better, you know, where you can make adjustments. And it tells you where you can do more, what you can do more of, right? So if you're doing more, uh, if you're doing something that works, if you're doing something that's positive, that's yielding results, it, doing an assessment of the past, the history, tells you you should, you should do more of that thing, and that's encouraging. The second thing to do when you're trying to learn how uh, learn from the past is to chart a course to what's next from where you are. Right. So when you assess what went wrong, when you assess what has gone right and you start to define what future, what tomorrow looks like, you have to chart that course. And the course doesn't start in the middle of nowhere. The, the course from from to where you want to go starts from your past, the moment now, the moment you just left. Sometimes we're assessing recent history. Sometimes we're assessing history that is much further away. But wherever that starting point is, wherever that defining moment begins or ends is where you need to start from. And from that point to where you're trying to go, you need to chart that course. Note that when you do chart that course, um, that course is not going to be a straight line. That course is not going to be uh, free of problems, ups and downs, roadblocks. Notice and be aware that these things that you're going to go through, it's, it's par for the course. It's required. It, it's normal. It's, it's not you. It's not personal. Just know that the course you chart will have its challenges. But again, just as you just completed an assessment of the past, those challenges will become a future and they will eventually become a past, a past for you to learn from, a past for you to make adjustments from, a past that will shape you or reshape you for the future that has yet to be perceived or yet to come. All right, so chart that course knowing that there are going to be some adjustments along the way. 
Here's the last thing I'll say about how to learn from the past. Uh, ask the pillars in your life to be honest with you uh, and to keep you honest and to check your progress. The pillars in your life, and I, I share this often in the show, pillars are people you trust, people you respect, people who you honor. Ask them to keep you honest. All right. In some cases, the pillars in your life know a lot about you. They've been here for the journey. They've seen you up close or they've seen you from a distance and they have a perspective. And because you trust them, because you allow them the freedom and space to speak into your life, allow them to keep you honest because they want to see you succeed. They want to see you prosper. They want to see you win. And as a result, they are they have an invested interest to keep you honest because they love you. They care about you. And they, they can be objective in helping you uh, monitor your progress towards your new tomorrow. Okay? That's huge. And that's going to make a difference in how you chart your course forward and how you lead your team, how you lead yourself, and how you find success in your business. This is how to learn from the past. This is Dr. William Clark for Leadership Conversations. Follow us on YouTube, Facebook, uh, Instagram, and uh, Twitter. And subscribe to our uh, podcast using utilizing your favorite platform. We hope to hear from you and uh, let us know what you think of the show.